Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. If you're a regular follower of our videos, then you would have come across certain videos based on types of suspension springs. We'll drop the link in the description below if you haven't checked it out. In today's video, we'll be discussing the third type of suspension springs, the air springs. Many of you would be familiar with the term air spring. It's been used in many cars like in the Mercedes C-Class, the Volvo XC60, the Rolls-Royce Phantom, etc. If we roll back a bit in time, you would have also come across the terms Airbus frequently. It's nothing related to airlines, but it was a premium name to call the buses with air suspension. It's no longer termed as a premium feature, but still we'll discuss it. A type of vehicle suspension that is powered by an electrical or engine-driven air pump is called the air suspension. The air spring is a part of this system. These air springs are nothing but flexible bellows made out of textile reinforced rubber. It contains compressed air which is used to sustain the load. The suspension can be adjusted either by lifting or lowering them. These springs are precisely manufactured in such a way that they are highly durable and cost effective. The springs have a variety of configurations based upon the model, usage and the manufacturer. But the underlying principle is the same. The air springs have replaced steel springs in heavy duty vehicles for carrying heavy loads and in modern cars to provide a plush ride quality. So what are its characteristics? Well, the air springs are designed in such a way that they maximize the safe load carrying capacity and improve the stability and overall ride quality by absorbing road shocks. The height of the vehicle can be maintained constant by varying the air pressure depending upon the load. The suspension can be made soft if the vehicle is not loaded and when the vehicle is loaded, the stiffness can be increased by increasing the air pressure. Generally, there are three basic types of springs available. They are double convoluted, tapered sleeve and rolling sleeve. Double convoluted spring looks like two small tires stacked upon each other. In this type, the stroke length is less but the load carrying capacity is high. These springs are progressive springs which means that they get stiffer as they are compressed. So this type is usually best suited for the front suspension. The tapered sleeve spring and the rolling sleeve spring have longer stroke length and is of smaller diameter. Their spring rate is linear and they usually suit the rear suspension. But the air spring is not as easy as we discussed. The whole setup is more complex. Along with air springs, an electronically modulated air suspension is incorporated. Based on the design of air springs used, there are three types of air suspension systems. They are the bellow type air suspension, the piston type air suspension and elongated bellows air suspension. First let's talk about bellow type air suspension. This type consists of convoluted rubber bellows. These bellows are made circular and are reinforced by a grindle hoop which is nothing but a cold rolled solid steel in a toroidal configuration. This type replaces the coil spring. The second type is the piston type air suspension. Here a metal container in the shape of an inverted drum is used. This drum is connected to the frame and a sliding piston is connected to the lower wishbone. This piston is a rigid polyamide molded component with glass fiber which withstands load and cushioning shocks. Next a flexible diaphragm is connected to the lip of the drum and it acts as a seal. The last type is the elongated bellows air suspension. Rubber bellows are used here as well, but these are elongated which are rectangular in shape with rounded corners. These are arranged at the rear end of the vehicle. So that's it for today's video guys. See you in the next one. Until then, bye.